Anime is not perfect and neither are the popular ones so here are some of the lowest ranked episodes for pretty much all of them. The first is Dragon Ball Z episode 272, The Incredible Fighting Candy. Majin Buu gets hella gas after he uses Candy Beam to transform Vegito into a tiny coffee flavoured piece of candy. All seems hopeless but breaking news, the transformed Vegito still keeps his fighting skills and mobility. Madness right? Imagine a flipping skit or just smashing your face up, you're staring down at that red mark and it starts knocking your front tooth out. And wow man, their little thing can speak too. Everybody's shocked and Margin Boo, yeah? He just falls victim to a launch of relentless assaults. But I ain't gonna lie, man. Some of these scenes are absolutely nuts. Margin Boo, of all people, get impressed by a piece of candy. 1,000 aura points deducted. Like, we get it, we get it. Moral of the story. Bigger doesn't mean stronger, am I right? By the end, Vegito eventually gets absorbed into Boo. I guess all that BS they went through meant nothing, right? And here you have Margin Boo happy as ever. Ever, laughing, spamming emotes. The episode got a rating of 6.5 out of 10, which is pretty much the lowest I've ever seen for any Dragon Ball episode. I mean, the fact they had the audacity to add such a corny element in the middle of one of the most intense arcs is crazy. Naruto episode 26, special report live from the Forest of Death. A filler episode recapping all the critical events that had unfolded during the Forest of Death arc. Konohamaru and his boys, girl, pop into the tuning exam entrance Forest of Death place thingy. The entire episode is basically told like a mock news report, revisiting key moments such as the time where they jumped Zabuza or Naruto's typical missions with Sakura and Sasuke. And Team 7 recap their adventures up to this point complete with their own biases. Konohamaru interviews Naruto who shares his opinion of the rest of Team 7 but mainly brags about himself and his abilities. Moegi interviews Sakura who explains different techniques but spends her time glazing Sasuke as usual. You then interview Sasuke who tells them that Naruto's recap isn't even factual. Major plot points are also brought to the forefront like Orochimaru's infiltration and there's nothing much more to it. Which is probably why it was ranked so lowly. I mean reasons are obvious, nobody gives a crap about fillers when it doesn't even contribute to the main storyline. And I mean on the build up viewers were met with so much tension just to be met with such a low point in entertainment value. One Piece is episode 336 titled Chopper Man to the Rescue, protect the TV station by Sure, which essentially takes a humorous detour from the main story by placing all the characters in some parody superhero setting. You got your boy Chopper, who I guess goes by Chopper Man now. He was given the mission to protect a TV station from Dr. Yu Saba Daba Daba. Nami and Zoro, who act as henchmen, pull up to take over the TV station, while Chopper Man sets out to stop this from happening. To make matters worse, this episode was right before the Thriller Bark arc, apparently one of the weirdest arcs ever. I mean, the episode's nothing serious, just some comedic battles and over exaggerated action sequences, it's flipping power ranges at this point bro. But yeah this episode was ranked at 5.2 out of 10 due to it obviously being a filler episode that doesn't have much to do with the overall storyline. The stakes in this episode are lower compared to the intense fights typical of One Piece episodes. Everyone was probably like nah what the f is this. Cowboy Bebop's lowest episode ever achieved a 7.1 out of 10 which isn't bad at all and pretty much shows how much of an elite show it was. But it was still the lowest ranked episode. So what was it about? Episode 21 titled Boogie Woogie Feng Shui. Jet gets a mysterious mail from Peyo, an old friend. The letter contains some sort of message leading Jet to Peyo's daughter. The two set off on a journey to uncover the meaning behind Peyo's message and the circumstances of his death. Eventually the two discover Peyo's death was not accidental but the result of his involvement with some proper mafia people fam. Listen it's still cowboy beep up but I guess some people were just pissed off with the pacing which came across a bit different from the more dynamic and action packed episodes are used to. Hunter x Hunter's episode 13, letter X from X gone, genuinely got like a 4.1 out of 10. I'm not gonna lie, hearing any episode from Hunter x Hunter getting below a 4 doesn't even sit right with me. But at the same time I hardly remember this episode. After passing the first phase of the Hunter exam, Gon, Karapika, Leorio and Kiliwa receive a letter from Gon's aunt, Mito. The letter contains a heartfelt message along with a photo of the guy's pops. The whole episode pretty much delves into the characters backgrounds and their reasons for taking the hunter exam. Gon glazes his dad, Karapaka trying to avenge the Uchiha clan and Leorio, man just has a bright future ahead of him. Why wasn't it a banger of an episode? In some viewers words the episode is exposition heavy, providing background information and character motivations. It's great for character development but it's less engaging compared to other episodes.